tonight give him a one-way ticket on a repositioning cruise. <laughs> it's a, do something else. Go ahead. It's all, it's all okay. switch. Yeah, okay, sure. Um, the Doug Park... Can you just tell us who you are? Yeah. Doug Park with Cruise Radio. Will um, the burger joint have vegetarian burgers? Good question. Excellent question. We do definitely do have vegetarian options. And not only there, but we have vegetarian options throughout the ship as well as in our main dining rooms. I love the vegetarian option. <laughs> John, my wife was a vegetarian. Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. Mr. G. Um, I'm wondering with the big, big name brand you bring in people like George Walker, we talk about why now and that. It's not something that Carbon has done. Absolutely. I think that, as, as you mentioned, Gene, it's a little bit on the consumer side. Consumer expectation is very different, and brands have become so accessible to the middle American consumer consumer that is our customer. So it's really leaning into that. And how? what a better way to emphasize fun than with these icons, both in comedy and in food. I mean, these iconic, fun people. And, and you see by the choice and the selection, we're very careful about who we work with, just as careful as they are about who they work with. But it really leans into this idea that cruising for everyone. And these are kind of talents that the average person really relates to. Gene, I, I want to just elaborate one thing. I think part of the reason is we really hadn't made the effort to go out and look for the right people for us. You know, Mark and Jim Barra, they did a great job in identifying who we wanted to be associated with. Who are the people who connect with our customer? Who's the right personality for our brand? And I think they've done a fantastic job in George Lopez and Guy Fieri, I think, are absolutely fantastic for our brand. And so it was more a matter of not having put forth the effort to try and identify the right people than anything else, I think. And as you've got the microphone, we will make this the very last question. Good evening, everyone. My name is Byron Hugh, and I'm with uh, Liveboat USA, based here in New York City. I wanted to say one thing. Um, your um, fleet modernization tactic here and your plan is, I think, it's very marvelous. I think it's very interesting. My question to you is this. How do you think this whole Shabazzle will make uh, the fleet and uh, the whole branding and marketing aspect more combat effective and urban, but there are a wide array of customers and um, appealing to more diversities? I love the word Shabazzle. But that's a good one. We're going to use that one. But it's really, as you, as you said, and as Jerry emphasized at the beginning of, um, you know, as we were unveiling Funship 2.0, it's about experiences for every demographic that we sell with. And also when you talk about diversity, when you talk about people that really resonate to the entire American population. So it's, it's very much about leading into that, into the branded experiences, and providing something for everyone, every one of our guests to have a real branded experience that resonates with them. Thank you very much. Now, it is Guy is at the grill, and you're going to go and see a master of work and sample some of his food. If you'd like to ask any other questions, you see anyone walking around, we'll be happy to answer them. Thank you. Well, I'm just going to ask you a question. Just one. So, what's your question? After she gets.